Here we have our gates in model that we created by importing the bone meshes. And for a lot of uses, this is fine because it estimates um, centers of mass based on the bone dimensions. But if you want to get an accurate measure of center of mass and mass properties of the segments, then you need to replace the bone data with the data from the skin envelope or from some sort of sculpted skin outline. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. So here's our model. If we look at it from the uh, from the front, you can see it's uh, nicely symmetrical and all the pieces are in place. Uh, we make sure we're in uh, edit mode. So this is the construction mode rather than the run mode. In run mode, you can't edit anything. In construction mode, you can. And we can look at all the bodies. And for each body, what we can do is we can add a second mesh. So you've got up to three meshes you can add for each one. If you right click in here, you can select the file that you want to open. And if we go to the skin meshes that we created before, it'll uh, load them up into this box here. And we can click this button, which calculates the center of mass position, which is here. It calculates the mass based on the volume and the density. And we could tweak the density if we had a reason to believe that this value wasn't suitable. And then it calculates the moments of inertia and also the products of inertia based on this volume. There are a few other things you can set, like um, limits to its position, but at the moment we'll leave those at the defaults, which are basically no limits at all. And then um, you can't see what's happened because we've got this set at the moment to only view mesh one. If we look at mesh two, we can now see that there is uh, a second mesh on this. And in fact, we can view all the meshes at once and we can see how the left arm now has both a skin mesh and um, a regular bone mesh. And we can also see that the center of mass has shifted because we've calculated it based on the skin mesh. And we can go through all of these and do exactly the same job. So edit body. Select the new uh, skin segment. Remember to calculate, very easy to forget. And then we've got the foot and the left forearm. Edit body, select the file to open, left forearm, calculate, okay. We'll just do the left side, left hand, select file to open, left hand, calculate, OK, left shank, edit body, select file to open, OK, calculate, OK. And the other thing to remember is that you don't have to click on the list here. We can just right click on the thing itself and we can edit the body here and in exactly the same way. So this is left thigh, select file to open. OK, calculate, and job done. Now we have the left-hand side, and I can save this before it crashes. And there we are with half the body done in not very long. I'll switch off now and do the rest of it and get ready for the next tutorial.